Hi, it's James from the Xire team, and in this video, I'm going to show you how you can use Xire's AI-powered duplicate search feature to save time and clean up your entire image library in just a few minutes. Now, duplicate search can be used in two main ways. First, it can be used to actually clean up to remove any unwanted image copies that you've created over the years. So I'm talking about JPEGs you've created for social media but no longer need, or duplicate raw files that resulted from transferring images from the same hard drives at different points in time, and so on. Duplicate search can help you identify and manage these duplicate images. But second, duplicate search can be used to identify and group together similar images from, for example, a single portrait photo shoot. That way you can quickly skim through and identify the best image out of the group of images with near identical poses instead of painstakingly evaluating each individual file. So let me show you how this duplicate search feature works. You're first going to want to choose this Find Duplicates option in the upper right hand corner. And you'll get this dialog box. And as you can see, there are a number of settings you can adjust to ensure you get the results that you're after. So you can first choose where you want Xire to look for duplicates. Do you want Xire to search for duplicates in the whole database, the current view, and specific folders and collections? Or do you even want Xire to compare photos in one folder to photos in another folder? Now I'm going to look here for photos in a single photo shoot folder. I want to find the duplicates in this folder. And then I'm going to come down here so I can choose the type of duplicate that I want to find. If I select exact duplicates here, then Xire is going to identify images that are identical in every way. So in file contents, in file type, file size, etc. But if I select near duplicates, I can use this similarity threshold to tell Xire how strict it should be in its search for duplicates. So setting the slider close to very strict, so if I bring it down here, I'm going to get images that are almost perfectly identical, but with some minor differences. So the software might find a high resolution version and a low resolution version of the same image. On the other hand, if I set the slider over here, close to very loose, I'll get images that are similar, but with obvious differences. So images captured of a specific person in the same pose and environment, but a few seconds or minutes apart. I'm going to choose medium here. And then finally, you can choose if you want to the sequences or bursts option, which tells Xire to identify and group together photos that aren't necessarily visually similar, but that were taken within a certain time span. So like one or two seconds apart, and you can set the time span that you want with the slider here. So I'm going to go back to near duplicates and then I'll come down here. So you can play around with the filter settings at the bottom here if you want to. These are just about telling Xire which images you want to ignore and which folders you want to ignore when searching for duplicates. Now, once you're ready, you're going to want to hit start search. I want to mention that duplicate search can take some time to run if you search through an entire collection. I'm only searching through a single folder with around 900 images, so it wasn't that bad. Now I can come here. The search is done. 54 duplicates were found, and I can choose if I want to to open the flagging assistant. And this is a dialog for quickly indicating which photos I want to accept and reject, but I generally like to use the standard results view here. So this neatly organizes my images into sets of duplicates. And then I can go through and flag my best photos or reject my worst. So I could come here and say, so we have seven similar images here. If I click this, it opens it up and I see all seven. I could choose, I say, oh, I like this one. Maybe I don't like this one here. So I'd reject it and I can just go through and quickly find and flag the images that I want. And I'll also mention 
that Axire now has this very handy compare view. So if I click here, I open this up, I can use the arrow keys, of course, to just go between all the different images and see these photos that have just slightly different poses. But we also have compare here if I click this, and then that allows me to look through and say, okay, what do I think of this image versus these images? And I can just pick the best shot from the set. Very fast and it's very easy. So if your XR database is cluttered with duplicate or near duplicate files, this tool can really be a game changer. And like I said, it's also a great way to identify similar images after a photo shoot and then select your best. Though it's worth mentioning here that our new culling projects feature actually can incorporate these features somewhat directly into this culling workflow. And that can allow you to have the power of these near duplicate search features or sequences or bursts search features, but within this dedicated culling module. So both are worth trying. Um, give it a shot and see what you think. And I imagine that you'll have a, a much easier time finding and cleaning up your catalog, getting it much neater and tidier. Thanks so much for watching.